We have all heard musical artists perform their instruments solo, whether it be pianists, guitar players, singers, or flute players, anything, even drum, even drummers. But by a show of hands, how many of you have heard a tuba perform solo? One. Well, the concept is relatively new, and today I will elaborate on the tuba and its history. Tuba soloist Roger Bobo and his effect on the tuba's evolution as a solo instrument. <clears throat> I have been playing tuba for nine years and I've been uh, training as a soloist for the last two years. And I've read many of Roger Bobo's websites such as rogerbobo.com, Bobo's Festival of Brass.com, and Bobo's blog, bomaestroblogspot.com. The tuba is the lowest pitched member of the brass wind uh, instrument family. The sound is, well, the instrument is set to the left, and the sound is produced by buzzing one's lips into a small metal cone called a mouthpiece. The sound is distorted and amplified through the instrument's tubing, which there's about 16 feet of tubing to about 20 feet of tubing, depending on what tubing you have. Um, and the, yeah, the, the sound is distorted and amplified. According to the Vienna Symphonic Library's website and Cecil Force's book, Orchestration, the tuba was invented in 1835, and it was made to replace prior instruments with similarly uh, pitched tunings, but they did not sound as smooth as the tuba did. And um, uh, those instruments were not solo instruments either, so the tuba just replaced them in ensembles. It was, a primarily, it was primarily an ensemble instrument, so composers would write, whenever they would write for these uh, large ensembles after the tuba was invented, they would write themes and passages where the tuba was the main instrument playing the melody. But these were just brief moments within larger orchestral works or wind ensemble works. The first tuba solo was performed in, well, was recorded in 1957. And most tuba solos, uh, most early tuba solos, were transcribed from other solos written for other instruments already. But once composers saw the demand for the instrument as a solo, they began writing directly for the instrument. Now that you know a little bit about the tuba, let me introduce you to Roger Bobo. Bobo was born in 1938, and according to Bobo in his appearance on Johnny Carson's late night TV show, and his interview on PerryHugendig.com, he played piano, trumpet, and guitar before he was age 11, when he first started playing tuba. He um, became the principal tubist for the Rochester Symphony Orchestra of New York in 1956, but he graduated from Eastman School of Music in 1960. And in 61, he performed at Carnegie Hall, a, a solo in Carnegie Hall, and um, grad, uh, he got his master's degree also from Eastman. In 62, he left the Rochester Symphony Orchestra and joined the Royal Concert Gabot Orchestra in Amsterdam. He stayed there until 1964, which is when the LA Philharmonic sent him a, a request to become a member of the LA Philharmonic. He stayed with them for 20 years and was featured on many movie soundtracks and performed many of his own solo albums and recitals. He retired from tuba in 2001 and to focus on teaching and conducting in different parts of the world and he still does that today. Roger Bobo's effect on the tuba evolution was a significant one. He set a high standard for 
for technique, uh, for technical expectations of tubists, including finger speed, complication, well, well more complicated music, and higher pitched pl uh, pitches played on the instrument. There was a soloist who recorded before Roger Bobo, but Roger Bobo's performance in Carnegie Hall got the tuba the fame and recognition that it had not had before. Early professionals influenced each other, such as the, the guy who recorded solo before Bobo, obviously influenced Bobo, and Bobo performed in Carnegie Hall and influenced tubists forevermore because they realized their instrument could be a solo instrument. <clears throat> therefore, Roger, therefore, tuba virtuoso Roger Bobo made the tuba what it is today. Historically, the instrument was purely an ensemble instrument, but he came in and showed the world the tuba's potential and capabilities, and aided the tuba in its evolution as a solo instrument. 